That caravan attacking elephant must be a Hellion. Most likely. Their beak is something to watch out for. Is there a problem if it can't fly? Is that a monolith? was right again, Rose. Hope you like that one, because I got loads more bad feelings on the way. Roger. Let's all keep our guards up. Shut up! 
shining brilliant. Oh, jeez, it looks so heavy, too. You'll ride in agony if you get stomped by it. Yeah. 
working. Rose, Harrison. Good to catch. Magnetic field. Shield. Don't push yourself. You are a field. Stop. My time. Stop. Good to catch. Double demon. My time. Haven't felt that thrill in a while. How careless of me, turning into a Hellion. Are you all right? Oh, I must apologize for troubling you, Shepard. My name is Alkin. You must tell me, what did I go and do? Well... You became an elephant hellion and started attacking merchants. Oh, oh dear. That made things hard for the people in Logren. We wanted to do something to help. Logren? Oh, those devout believers of the Shepherd. Is there no guardian seraph? Not right now. But the people continue to practice their faith, even in such hard times. Oh, hmm. It was the work of a hellion. Don't blame yourself. But nevertheless, I used to scoff at those humans for how easily they would become tainted with malevolence. And then I myself became a Hellion. I'm ashamed of myself. Hey, what's the use in crying over spilt milk? Hmm. I'd wager you have a considerable amount of power, Alkin. Could we ask you to give your blessing to Logren? We'll find a vessel ourselves. Uh, hmm. I may be able to use the tower in Logren as my vessel. Okay. Please let me ask of you, so that I may atone. Thank you. Don't worry. We're sure it'll all be worth it. Let's go back to Logren and tell them that their elephant problems are... No more. Hopefully this will make things easier on them, right? I hope so. Agil, find anything interesting? Sure did, boss. Remember how you were looking for iris gems? Earth and Historia! Did you find one? We did, but we were a little late. Someone besides Saray wants them? The guy that brought it is a priest who's studying archaeology. Archaeology? Is he studying ruins? I'm not really sure, but he has published several books. Oh man, that's awesome! I'm interested in his writing. Could you try to stay on topic for once? And who's this researcher? As far as I know, he went to the Litwerg Bearwoods near Plitzerback Wetland for some research. That's pretty dangerous. Though I do understand how he feels. I'm a bit worried.
I wonder who that archaeologist could be. He's got the same interests as you, right? He must be a weirdo. Probably. By which I mean, absolutely. You guys are so mean. Jeweler who handles iris gems, huh? Let's head for Western Bolt Gorge. What is the Night Squad thinking? Ten people have been killed already, and they haven't a single clue. Please calm yourselves. But that means nothing if you can't catch him! There's a murderer on the loose! I understand your concern, but please believe us. I swear on my honor to find the culprit. <laughs> Rumor has it you have your eyes on a different kind of honor. Isn't that right, Captain? Starting to butt into politics more, aren't you? So that's what this is about. Of course, political power is more important to you than citizens' lives! No! I would never do such a thing! Everyone, the affair with Cardinal Fortin is still under investigation. These knights are only human, too. Thank you so much for your kind words, Father Amathor. Humans are weak, and we must all acknowledge that evil lies in the people's hearts. Indeed. We are weak creatures. As expected of Captain Sergei. I do apologize. But such is the situation. I must go join the search squad. I wonder, could Hellions be behind all these murders? Let's check it out. Sounds like this Hellion is nocturnal. Let's wait until nightfall. Something just doesn't feel right. What is it? How should I know? It's just a gut feeling. going to pop out. Hmm. Did I scare you? No. I just have a bad feeling is all. Saray, over there! The culprit's inside the church! The killer? Why did he go into the church? Are they... dead? This is not death, but salvation, good Seraph. He... he heard my voice? Why so surprised? You were the one who showed me the way in my dreams time and time again. That the world's salvation was my sworn duty. You call this salvation? This is massacre! The blame rests on them. They could not admit their own weakness. 
Instead, they would blame their own country, the knights, even the church for their own blasted misfortune. Such disgusting vermin. What would you call their illness, if not malevolence? Are you serious? Quite, I assure you. This world is so hopelessly smitten with malevolence. It may seem cruel, I know, but it must be done. Lila, is he? No, he's not a Hellion. <sighs> Father Amathor, you are under arrest for mass murder. <laughs> You assume I can be bound with the laws of man? How foolish. But then again, who could blame you? I am all too aware that your brother was killed by Cardinal Fortin in an attempt to fight her. <sighs> he must have been but a weakling who could do nothing but blame his misfortunes on the church. And oh, you poor soul, who's been working so hard to atone for his sins. How dare you! Enough, Soray. What he says isn't far from the truth. Of course it isn't. Please, confide in me what troubles you. After all, it is my duty to save lost lambs like yourself. Soray, Seraphim, I beg of you. Please, don't abandon us humans. Was that a marriage ceremony? And there were a whole bunch of shepherds there too! It looked like it took place at the Shrine Church in Pendrago. And that was Maltellus's crest. Was his Prime Lord Maltellus? Uh, please excuse me for a moment. Uh-oh, she took off. Almost like you were picking on her. We didn't mean for her to leave. I know. Well, either way, the bottom line is it looks like our boy Maltellus is wrapped up in this somehow. Yeah. For that many shepherds to exist at once, you'd need a power on par with the five lords. Yeah, but let's leave the speculation at that for now. So long as we're gabbing about it, Lila's stuck in there. Oops, sorry, I forgot. where I got that weird feeling from. I couldn't sense any murderous intent behind this incident. Didn't that priest refer to killing as purifying? Guess he's dedicated to his cause. He really believes he's saving the world. And that's exactly why he had neither built up malevolence nor became a Hellion. That's more disturbing than anything. How could his sense of righteousness become so distorted? Didn't he say that a seraph showed him the way in his dreams? That's probably what caused this. Something so formless. Something formless? Like... an illusion? <sighs> Maybe Misty is behind all this. Even if Simone did have a hand in it, that's not enough to make him atone for what he's done. No matter what the reason, killing is a sin. He's just like a... monster. 
Weak ones, crazy ones, strong ones. There's all kinds of types out there. Yes, but there are people like Sergei as well. Yeah, I know. Aren't they referring to the group of children we met back then? We should let them know. If the army is after them, they won't stand a chance. That's why I told them to stop. About Maltran? Even if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. My name's Saray. He's the Shepherd. The Shepherd? I believe this man possesses some resonance, however slight it may be. But Shepherd or no, no one has yet to believe a word I say. It hurts when people don't believe you, but I found people who would listen to me and believe in me. My word! So please, tell us your story. Ten years ago or so, I served as a Knight of Rolands in a conflict against the Kingdom of Highland. That is where I encountered her, Maltran, famed as the Blue Valkyrie. Before we could even react, in the blink of an eye, that lone woman had wiped out our entire unit. I turned tail and fled. As my cowardly legs carried me away, I glanced back at her. But she was being attacked by monsters, great lizards the size of men, wearing the armor of Highland. Hellions! I swear that I saw them, and yet... <sighs> Maltran is still alive. I believe your story. Thank you. Show enough. Please take this and continue to care for the people. Mr. I will. Thank you. Edna? What? Aren't those boots a little big on you? Got a problem with it? Nope. Just wondering if it's hard to walk in those. They used to be my brother's. He adjusted it so that it'll match my shoe size. Don't worry. 
Then how about those gloves? We have matching ones. What about them? They look great with your dress. Though the overall look is a little strange. <sighs> My brother told me the same thing. Huh? Never mind. Just saying that you wouldn't be able to pull this look off. <laughs> Guess that's true. Weirdo. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. The ones hunting soldiers. They're dead. Did the army do it? Doubtful. They wouldn't leave corpses in the open like this. Nor would they go to such extremes. Who else could it be? Uh, uh. Thank goodness! One's still alive! We did... What they asked... Uh, why? Saray, watch out! Why did you kill them?! Could it be that she... I don't know. We'll deal with that later. So we I must purify her. I, I will smite evil! Sword flare! We did it, but she was the only one we could save. Hey, over there! Oh, he's still breathing! Whoa there, Mr. Shepard, what's going on? Oish! Perfect timing! We need help! Let's start with the treatment. Just lead the young'uns to me. Neither of them have mortal injuries, but they're not waking up yet. 
Did our purification fail? No, it's more of a psychological kind of deal. What on earth could have happened to them? He... he beat us. We did what we were told. He? So you guys were hired by someone? Yeah. We weren't sure we wanted to keep hunting lone soldiers. Uh, then he told us there was an easier way to make money. We did what we were told and attacked the carrier. And he bought all the stolen freight for a high price. He even promised us that he'd hook us up with legit jobs soon after. So who is this guy? I don't know. Our leader was the only one who talked to him. And I'm not that smart. But we believed in him. But then he said he was going to destroy all the evidence. Destroy all the evidence? We... We were so foolish. Please, avenge them. They took all our money, too. We only have this. And Earth and Astoria. Don't worry. The scattered bones will see your request through. Rose. Wow, I never knew there were once so many shepherds, all using their purification powers on Hellions. So the question is, why and how did they disappear? What do you think? If the existence of so many shepherds depended on Maltellus, then when Maltellus disappeared, so did all of them. Isn't it too early to jump to conclusions? Well, what other possibilities are there? Maybe humans abandoned their faith in Seraphim to the extent that shepherds just ceased to exist. Who knows? Maybe a monster crawled out of the ground and gobbled them all up. Maybe only people like Saray can be shepherds, and there's just fewer nice guys in the world these days. Huh. So there's plenty of other possibilities. I guess that means we have to keep collecting information. Yes. If you do that, you will surely arrive at your answer. Are you really going to take on his request? Yeah, I mean, I kinda already did. Huh. Are you sure this is okay? I hate to sound harsh, but those children were accomplices in a crime. Yeah, meaning in this case, the mercenaries punished the group of thieves who caused them all this trouble. But, I mean, those kids were just trying to survive. They knew they were doing a bad thing, and they were trying to break free of that vicious cycle. What those kids did was wrong, but even so, the one who betrayed them was just as wrong. Maybe, but... Sorry. I don't know the right answer to this. I'm not blaming you, and it's not like it's just their problem. Huh? Just don't worry about it. If it's a Hellion thing, it's all you. All right. Let's find out who's behind it all first. You got it. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I should ask Agil to look after these kids. 